wait. Stop acting like you're the Lakers. Stop acting like you're the Yankees. Hold on a second here. Win and then be all that you want to be. I'm not telling you that the scoreboard had jack squat to do with this. I'm just telling you that's part of the problem. The yeah. be the 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 I show up we win attitude is is all wrong. Yeah. Well, I agree with you. I don't trust let's say they fire Bob Melvin, right? Mm -hmm. I don't trust the Presidente of Baseball Ops to make the right decision because why would I? He's 0 for 4. He's 0 for 4. Like, what do you want me to like if he fires Bob Melvin? If he fired that admits that he's 0 for 4. And now what? You're going to give him another one? You can't. You can't. You can't. And like you could say, so I know at least in in my circles because people want blood. Mm -hmm. People want Bob Melvin fired because that is what that is for. You fire fire the head coach, you fire the manager, you fire the head coach. That's kind of, or you fire a hitting coach, whatever. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, There is a guy in this organization that was a very successful manager for the St. Louis Cardinals that every now and then fills in as as third base coach Mm -hmm. in Mike Schilt. But then I'm like, well, what's he going to do? Because isn't he Bob Melvin? He's already in there. He's kind of, you know, an older white guy who's had success at a, you know, the Cardinals always have success, but they do it differently than what the Padres have done here. So I don't know. And then AJ Preller is also the guy that didn't want to interview Dave Roberts. Whatever you want to say about him, he's had nothing but success in, in LA. He's the guy that even now you look at the Marlins manager, Skip Schumacher. Dude, young, 42, clearly knows what he's doing. The Marlins are overachieving like crazy right now. He was here, didn't get a sniff. And also, he just did an interview with Dan Levitar the other day where he talked about how toxic other clubhouses were and how people were just kept pining for jobs. Wonder what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. So there is clearly something, and it starts at the top. And I've said this for years, and I think the more that this drags out, I'll finally start reeling Browner in to my side because he's been here a decade. A decade. He's been here for a decade. He's had two winning records last year and 2020. And other than that, the Padres, I think have not even come. I think they finished like 16 games behind the Dodgers. That was the closest they ever sniffed to them. Even last year when they made the playoffs, they were 22 games behind the Dodgers. Here's the problem with, here's the problem and why you don't have to reel me anywhere. I'm already there. You got to reel me nowhere. (laughs) The difference between then and now is what you're paying. Catch. What you're paying these dudes. Previously, the previous six years, seven years before this, you weren't really cutting checks. You weren't really paying guys. It was scouting, trying to grow guys, et cetera, et cetera. This payroll Mm -hmm. means I don't have time to mess around Mm -hmm. because this money is guaranteed. That's like Manny. Manny, you You don't have time. time. You don't have time. It's just like Manny. I don't have time. He also just described how many different ways A.J. Preller has failed. I need he's tried it. On my he's tried it multiple ways, man. He's tried it with trying it with Manny Marco, Hunter Renfro, Will Myers. Like the young guys are coming up. This is our core. Remember that? Uh, he's tried it with trading for Matt Kemp, Justin Upton, James Shields. Okay, you got to tease. That's the that is literally your the LinkedIn that, bio. Yep. Is yep. I got Fernando to tease Jr. Mm-hmm. for James mm-hmm. Shields, who by the way yeah. hurt him by the steroid thing. Mm. Now, luckily, he came back and he's been dynamite and he yeah. proved that it wasn't that. It was more him than it was anything else. So that's the only thing in his calling card. I traded for Fernando Tatis Jr. 